video is sponsored by Rex Technologies. More on them later on the video. Hey, hello guys, this is Shubham Pratap and welcome back to my channel, Circuitian. Most of you or probably all of you heard the term GPS. GPS stands for Global Positioning System, which is used for tracking anything in the earth. But did you heard the term GNSS? If not, then you are watching the right video. GNSS stands for Global Navigation Satellite System. It is a satellite constellation which is used for positioning, navigation, and timing. So, if you want to learn more about GNSS system and if you want to see how I build my own GNSS based tracking system, then don't skip the video. Watch till the end. Let's get started. Global Positioning System or GPS is a satellite based navigation system which provides time and location information in any weather condition anywhere on or near the earth. GPS receivers calculate their position by measuring the distance to the satellites. The satellites transmit signals which are picked up by the receiver and analyzed to determine how far away they are from each other. The GPS receiver uses triangulation to figure out its precise location on Earth. The GPS receiver can get a signal from four satellites at any given time, but it needs at least three signals for accurate reading. So now GNSS. GNSS stands for Global Navigation Satellite System. It is a it is basically a uh, system of satellites which sends the data about uh, location and time. GNSS is used for navigation on land, sea, air, and in space. It can also be used to synchronize clocks and provide timing signals. These signals are utilized in many industrial processes such as manufacturing and distribution of goods, power line synchronization, telecommunication, construction site management, or mapping for geoscience applications. GNSS includes Europe's Galileo, US's GPS, Russia's GLONASS and China's Beidou. GPS is traditionally refers to the North American Global Positioning System or Satellite Positioning System. GNSS is a term that refers the International Multi Constellation Satellite System. So GNSS typically includes GPS, GLONASS, Beidou, Galileo and any other constellation system. So today we will use RYS8830 GNSS module which is world tiniest GNSS module and this module is sponsored by Rex Technologies. Rex Technologies is a leading total solution provider of wireless modules. You can find various types of wireless communication modules like LoRa, Zigbee, GPS etc on their website. You can find the link in the description below. React sent me this module with a evaluation board of RYS8830. So first we will connect this evaluation board to the PC and check it. Then we will make our own GNSS based tracking system. Hello everyone, this is Priyabrato and I am going to explain how we can fetch data after plugging in the GNSS module with your computer. So as you know this gnss module work uh, using two communication pro protocol which is i square c and uh, serial communication means uart communication so we are using the uart communication here to to fetch the data using uart communication we need a serial program called h term so here i have opened the h term and now do the following settings in the h term as follows and then connect after the gns module is connected with your computer you have to send a command to start communication with gnss module which is at the rate gsr after uh, sending this command you will see the relevant information coming from the gnss module into your computer screen remember you have to place your gnss module into the open sky so that 
you can quickly get the GNSS signals. It will take 2-3 minutes to fix the coordinates means latitude and longitude. So as you can see here, I have got the coordinates and uh, fixed GNS data. Now let's analyze this data. To analyze the GNSS data, we have to know the NEMA statements. NEMA stands for National Marine Electronics Association. There are multiple NEMA statements, but in this tutorial, I will show you only two uh, examples of the NEMA statements. First is GNZDA. GN means it is coming from GNSS satellite constellation. Here it is showing the time as you can see UTC time. After Z, uh, ZDA, this is the UTC time. But where I live, it is UTC plus 530. I live in Kolkata so you can calculate the time there this is the hour this is the minute and this is the second and after the, that comes the date 19th October 2022 so this is how you can extract the time and date from the GNSS now coming to the latitude and longitude part for that you have to use this uh, you have to uh, analyze this uh, NEMA statement which is GPGGA so at first you can see here you can get the time you will get the time UTC position UTC of the position this is the hour minute second same as the GNZDA and then comes the latitude as you can see here this is the latitude north and this is the longitude east after that this one means GPS quality indicator so if it is 0 then GNSS fix not available if it is 1 GNSS fix valid so here we have got a, uh, we have got a 1 as you can see here it means the GNSS data is uh, valid after that the number of satellites used for positioning so here you can see it is 6 so 6 satellites are used to fix our uh, coordinate so this is how you can extract uh, the, the, the coordinate and time date data from GNSS NEMA statements. Now we will make our own GNSS tracking system. So before making it, we have to understand this block diagram. At first, we have the REX RYES8830 GNSS module. Then we have ESP82661212 e module for communicating with the GNSS module via UART communication. As the tracker should be portable, so we are using a 3.7 volt lithium polymer battery. But we cannot provide direct power to the modules because it will fry them. So we are using AMS triple one seven voltage regulator for supplying three point three volt to the ESP eight two six six and LM three one seven adjustable voltage regulator for supplying one point seven volt to the GNSS module because the maximum voltage can be supplied to the GNSS module is one point eight volt. The ESP eight two six six is connected to the Firebase through a internet enabled hotspot device. In our case, it is a mobile hotspot device, but you can use any USB Wi-Fi dongle or anything. And the Firebase sends the location data to the Android app, which is coming from the GNSS module through ESP8266. For making the circuit, we have to follow certain rules, which is written in the documentation of this GNSS module. So by keeping in mind all the rules, we have designed a custom PCB in EZEDA and fabricate the PCB in our workshop.
After making the PCB, we have soldered all the components and uploaded the code in the ESP8266 module. So it is the time to see the demonstration. Now it is 10.41 pm and we will test our handmade or homemade GNSS module. And now I will plug this battery into this module and and I already turned on my hotspot so it will connect yes blue blue LED is off so it means it is connected with my mobile hotspot and now I will cycling around with this module and you will able to see my location in the mobile application let's go So we are back and this is the module this is still on and you can see the location in this mobile. I hope guys you learned something about GNSS system and how to make your own RYS8830 based GNS tracking system. If so then hit the like button and share this video with your friends and technical community. And if you are new to this channel or seeing me for the first time consider subscribing. And if you want to help me out, then you can buy me a coffee. Link is given in the description below. And the most important thing, be creative.